Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a digital overcurrent protection circuit using Arduino. This circuit has an LCD display so we can monitor the set current and the device current. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to 5 full pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5 full pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino, and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect ACS712 current sensor and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground and its out pin to A0 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5 full pin of Arduino and its anode to remaining coil pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D3 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another push button and connect its one pin to pin D4 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another push button and connect its one pin to pin D5 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. The load should be connected to this device like this.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.